Hello church. It's a beautiful morning here in Tucson, Arizona. Just thank God every day just for allowing me to live here and enjoy the incredible creation that he's given to us. I want to share some verses today that um, as we're doing our Zoom Bible study on Monday nights, uh, we're going through the book of Luke and this past week was about Luke chapter 9. And uh, the way the format is for the Bible study is you read that chapter multiple times through the week asking the Holy Spirit to speak to you and uh, as he does you know what is it God's trying to say to you then how are you gonna apply that in your life so I don't often share what God has spoken to me that way in a devotional but um, as God's been stirring my heart in this I wanted to share what he gave to me for this past week's Bible study again if you're part of that group I apologize but if you listen you'll get something from God today as well through this I'm going to read to you verses 12 and just the first line of verse 13. Late in the afternoon, the 12 disciples came to him and said, Send the crowds away to the nearby villages and farms so they can find food and lodging for the night. There is nothing to eat here in this remote place. But Jesus said, You feed them. All right. So <laughs> as I was reading that, and the Holy Spirit began to like highlight that verse as I was going through the chapter, listening to it, reading it. And I, I thought it was like, a pretty, um, I'm sure, a shocking response that the disciples heard from Jesus. You know, when they were viewing a situation in their own minds, their own hearts, their human flesh, they looked and said, these people need to leave. <laughs> it's like, hey, let's pray, send them on their way, get them home. Uh, you know, there's nothing here for them and we need to get them out of here. And uh, Jesus completely goes contrary to that and says, you feed them. And, and they're looking around like, there is no possibility. We have nothing. It can't happen. But see, that's the difference between seeing through our flesh and making decisions in our human rather than seeing maybe in a different light the way God sees things. What the disciples saw as a, you need to get out of here. Jesus saw as an opportunity for God to be glorified and needs to be met. And so my prayer is for myself, and it is for you as well, to not just quickly make assessments and judgments based on how we see things. But before we make that decision, before we send them away, so to speak, let's stop and ask God if he has a different view, if he has a different plan. There may be something that God wants to do that's amazing, and we may send everyone away and miss out. So let's reassess what we think we know. And let's begin to see things in faith and what God knows. Peace, church.